Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the Music Factory Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to enable kernel extensions for Mac OS Big Sur on both M1 and Intel Macintoshes. The first thing you need to do is eject any external drives that you may have connected to your Mac. That way it's less confusing. All right, Intel and Apple Silicon work a little bit differently to get in recovery mode. So for an Intel machine, you want to hold down Command R as soon as you hear the reboot chime from your Mac. As soon as you hear the startup tone, hold down Command and the letter R and keep it held down until you get into recovery mode. For Apple Silicon Macs, such as the Mac Mini, the MacBook Air, and the MacBook Pro, all you have to do is simply hold down the power button and keep it held down until recovery mode starts on your Mac. I like this way a lot better. I don't have to remember a key command. Your Mac will start to boot just a little slower than normal, but just wait and recovery mode will pop up and it will look like this. Use the arrow keys to choose option. Once you've done that, you will see Mac OS recovery and you will see your administrator picture. Click on that, give it your regular computer password, whatever that may be. And then go up to the top bar and choose utilities, startup security utility. Now here's the reason we ejected the other drives. That way the only drive you see is the internal Mac OS drive. Click on the security policies. It will normally be clicked to full security. You want to move to reduce security and choose the options you want. There are two options here. Allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers. You will definitely need to leave that checked. And the allow remote management, you may leave that unchecked if you don't have multiple Macs and want to update them together. So those are your options. Once you've done that, you can close startup disk. And then go ahead and restart. And that's it. Your kernel extensions that are blocked or you're having issues with such as universal audio or some sort of driver that you may need will now be able to be unlocked in Mac OS, whether you're on the MacBook Air, the Mac Mini, or the MacBook Pro. All right, guys and gals, I hope this helped. If it did, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.